Brady Norris to Blatt, it scores! We are tied! Oh yeah! You gotta love it. What was it like growing up in Saskatchewan? You know, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, as soon as we could, I think it was the age of four, parents just threw on the ice and we just went. So, I mean, grew up with a, a rink real close to home that was about half the size or maybe less than that of a normal rink with chicken wire running around the, around the boards. So, I mean, that was kind of fun. You know, you just get your, your small town community involved and stuff like that. It's like anybody else. I think growing up, you're playing every year. Um, in our junior years, we were pretty successful, and that kind of got us noticed from our IT, and that's kind of how we ended up here. What was it like coming to our IT? Like, how did, how did the scouting process go? Was this your, your first choice school? In our junior years, there was kind of a, a showcase, what it was called, and just kind of where scouts come and watch this sort of thing. And uh, Brian Hills actually um, spotted us there, and he talked to us after a little bit, and he just kind of said, yeah, um, we'd love to have you. Um, just think about it and see what you think, and we did. And, we did a little bit of research and we found that uh, RIT was a pretty great place, so we ended up coming. Morish now, races ahead, sends it in, trying to chase up his own rebound. How about that? Their coach, Trent Kassan, played at Geneseo for Brian Hills, so he also tipped off, off about them before the game even started. Take a look at these two guys, and Brian was the first to see him. Dave followed up, and then I went out at Christmas time. Ooh, and a big hit by Chase Norish. Uh, what we underestimated was the impact or how quickly an impact they were going to make on our program. So they were very good for us, which is a little unusual for freshmen right from the get-go. It's interesting because one was player uh, defenseman of the year in their league uh, one year. The other one was the second year. Uh, last year, Brady made all-league team. And Chase, uh, as of right now, anyways, points-wise, is ahead, ahead of Brady. So they've kind of been alternating, and we think they're both uh, great, and they both Give us something a little bit different, but they're very similar overall in this one. And a goal! Far side, back door. That's number 10, Brady Norris. How do you see yourselves being a big presence in the locker room? When you get older, the, the younger guys expect you to lead and uh, lead by example. So hopefully we can just continue to do that. So we always like to ask uh, the athletes here at RIT what it's like to balance school and playing on either a D1 team or a D3 team. Uh, What's it like for, for you guys? It's not too much of a challenge. I mean, a lot of the professors that we have are pretty, uh, I know, uh, pretty easy going with that stuff. Like, they uh, have a little bit of leeway, and they like to help you out a lot, too, with a bunch of that stuff. So, I mean, for the most part, it's not too complicated, but I know you miss um, key classes, stuff like that. But uh, I know for my major, environmental science, and my, a lot of my professors are very, very, very helpful with all that stuff. So it's not too, not too stressful. Yeah, it's just like anything. You kind of just have to roll with the punches and stuff like that. Like Things are going to happen that you can't control. You just, like you said, you talk to your professor, you make things work. What are your plans for after college as far as your, your professional careers and your hockey careers go? Do you want to head back to your hometown in Saskatchewan or maybe uh, look for something bigger here in the States or elsewhere in Canada? Yeah, I mean, right now we're kind of just open to whatever. I know uh, we'd both love to keep playing hockey, but I know that may not be the fact, you got to be open for that, but I mean, uh, that's kind of what we want, uh, that's what we're kind of leaning towards anyways after college, see if we can keep doing that, but uh, obviously uh, we have a, a farm, family farm back home that we'd love to go back to eventually too, so I mean, uh, whatever path takes us there, uh, I, know, uh, I know we'll be happy with the choices.